and welcome back to the channel uh, josh and brandy helm here we're back at our king's barnuminium in weatherford texas it's always an exciting time because this is tour video day so we are looking forward to showing you guys this build there's been a lot of interest stirred on it it's got a lot to show let's give them some of the details on this build Yes, this is a big house. It's got 3,326 square feet of living, 916 square foot of shop, and over 1,800 square foot of porches. Yeah, the overall layout is approximately like 125 feet long of spread by 40 foot deep, not counting the porch space. That's just covering all of our shop, dog trot, and living space. But when you total it all up, you've got almost 7,000 square feet under roof and one of the things that we're going to be doing for you guys that's a little more unique on this build is at the end we're going to be sharing some real cost about what this project would cost today in real time one thing to tell you about that is at any given time you can always go and get a quote on any of the bills that we've done we've made it available on our website if you go to texasbestbarndominium.com and go to the Barndo plans page, you can search for a unique project that we built. And a lot of times we will have references there for either the plans that are available and you can get a cost for that. So we'll be telling you more details about that at the end. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get it going. All right, here we are. This is our King's Barn Dominium. And it's always exciting as we can get to this stage of the process for a build because it's all finished. This has a lot of features as, as you'll notice when we go through it, but it's built to serve a large family. Although our clients right now are in that building stage, but this is gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a really exciting build for them to reside. I wanna show you these doors here. This is a contemporary style, all hardwood doors. It's got the more contemporary glass, which looks really cool. And we have the picture frame Anderson windows, which are really nice to have when you are just trying to see more of the outside. That's what you want. Now you can't always just do that. You know, it really depends on the area, uh, but if the windows go too low to the ground, there's some code issues there, but you also have to have them be a little added protection as well if they were to break, things like that. That's just some, some quick things. But these are beautiful windows. Uh, I would really like the look of it as well as the contrast of the color. Right, so they did a gray stained concrete flooring throughout for the most part of all the walk areas. But they did a Dover white from Sharon Williams on the walls and uh, pure white on the trim. So it's kind of has a little bit of a contrast because a little bit of a, a yellow tint to the Dover white. Yeah, and keep in mind when you do the stained concrete, you do have a little more reverberation through the room, but because we have the high ceilings, it's even going to do that much more in an area like this. A lot of openness. Overall, we've got like a 22 by 20 foot area for the living room, which would give you plenty of space to, to kind of configure this however you'd want. I said I'd probably put like a grand piano or something in here. But... Oh, you'd love to sing in this room. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> also, we have this multi-glider. This is pretty sweet. This heads off to our dog trot, which we'll show you guys that here in just a little bit. But this is a three panel slider glider with Anderson. Looks really nice. We, we had to configure this a little bit different for this space, but one of the things that's nice about it is the flow and how it all packs back into this, uh, onto this panel here, giving you a lot of large open space to move about if you have a large group of company and you're going from one area to the next yeah so we're basically into the dining room area so this is one large island with a built-in bench area that they're going to put a table in but then on the outside we've got plenty of room for some bar stools they did a beautiful white countertop it's a level one 
quartz that's called morning frost so it it doesn't have really any pattern or anything it's just a solid white it looks really nice and clean now one thing we'll say about this is this is the first time we've done a built-in built booth yeah so this is this is kind of a neat now we've had people want to do this in the past but this is pretty unique in this sense because it's creating a togetherness you can see everything's going to be centralized around this space and you could put a bunch of people in there if you wanted to so moving yeah. on through the kitchen we've Oops. got a lot more to go There's tons of storage in this kitchen tons of places to put things this is basically a u-shape countertop so it's great for if you had a you know maybe thanksgiving and you had a spread you can have people walk all the way around so yeah you could set it up for serving you could also and you've got a lot of storage space as well as we'll show you as we move around there but look at all of the upper cabinets here and the buffet bar that you've got here. Yeah, like I said, tons of counter space, tons of storage. I love how high they go. Um, these don't go all the way to the ceiling, but we've, we've got some spiral ducting up there. So that really kind of changes the feel for the room. I really like the commercial. Yeah, so that. that's, uh, that's a, that has to do with the design, the overall connection point. We have a laundry room and mud bench areas that we'll show you here on this side. Uh, and then a lot of the bedrooms are on that side of the house where the majority of our mechanicals and stuff are up above. So, but the cabinets here are set at nine foot high. And one thing to, that, you know, going up to that full eave height here, I don't think would make a lot of sense. We've got a 14 foot eave and I just don't feel like it would have served well to try to take cabinets up to 14 sure. foot. But it looks really nice here. We've still got a large volume of space overhead and we've got a lot uh, going on in the overall space. But cabinet storage is not going to be one of the things that we're lacking here on this build. Right. And I like that they did something a little different here. Um, actually, a lot of our customers do this. We allow for an accent color for our island. So they, they did an outer space of on from Sharon Williams on their island and then they just did a pure white on the, the outer cabinet. space yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that's really nice and we have the accenting hardware too that that matches from one to the next let's talk about the backsplash let's tell them a little bit about that so this is called snow it's a two by six glass backsplash and it just looks really nice and then they did a black grout that obviously complements the hardware and and the faucet. I think we did a glass tile that was similar to this in our own house. Yes, it looks we did. really cool. Same thing with the countertops. So this has got a vent hood that's kind of tucked away up above and it just has like an access panel. They're not going to use it for storage really. It's just it's just an access to the And we've got a vanishing hood. stove. Yeah, right? it's a it's a <laughs> it comes out, you just push a button and the whole thing it's slides hidden. out. Yeah. <laughs> no, this one here is not obviously here yet, so uh, always maybe sometimes a couple pieces were missing talk about the desirabilities because I know there is a thought process with drawers versus doors that's always a selection sure question. so that's usually kind of an upgraded thing for your cabinet maker they're gonna you know to build a drawer versus just putting a door on a space so um, but yeah just I think that you should have you know kind of a plan for what all you're wanting to you know you're gonna store and if you can make a special door for that or make a special area for just that would be great. But they've got lots of drawers in here. Um, but it's usually about accessibility, right? Right, so you open that everything, you can see everything behind. You can get what you need. And so like when you're in even a spot like this, you got a dishwasher right across from this. If you had a door here and you're trying to like look down under, it makes it a little bit harder sometimes when you're trying to, to flow through a space. Yeah. So those are things that you need, really need to get worked out on the front end. We've got our corner pantry. I like how they did the, the spacing in here. They actually built it up off of the floor instead of just having an opening. So I like things not being set on the floor. It's pretty typical though for our corner yeah. pantry. Uh, we've got the automatic light there as well. And, and those are things really you can customize as you guys have seen a lot on our channel. Uh, sometimes people want to do like a little bar in there. They might want to set their, their yeah. appliances up in there. Uh, or have a little bit larger pantry for like a butler's pantry. Uh, so those are key things. Now we missed the sink. So you want right. to talk so about that. we've got a farm sink here and I kind of like that it's in the center of the room because you know, if you're, if you are standing here doing dishes, you can see everything that's going on in the living room. You're not looking outside, but you're, but you can actually see out the front. Yeah. You got the main center focus here as you're working this. Watch all those kids. That's right. Working the sink. <laughs> 
right? And we've got a trash drawer to the right of the sink, and then we've got the dishwasher to the left. And they've got like a black stainless steel appliance package here. Very nice. And behind us, uh, we've got sort of a, an additional space here you could use like for a coffee spot if you wanted. Uh, I think it would be a good size for that. I'd like to have a little more room for coffee. On right. My... You can do your ice maker, your coffee maker with all your coffee all products. All your stuff. Yeah. And here, I think they were missing the trim kit on this one, but this is uh, our, obviously the mi microwave there. And then upper cabinet storage up ahead, up above and additional cabinet storage to the side. So good little setup. And I really like that we always put the undermount lighting on these because it, this would otherwise be kind of a dark space. Right. So everything looks Yeah, the under, under cabinet lights are, I think, a good, a good feature to always include right. when you can. <clears throat> so we've got a nice little fridge set up. Lots of cabinets. Just yeah. keeps going. <laughs> so on this side of the island, you know, on the other side we had places for bar stools, but on this side we have more storage. So there's tons of storage space, lots of place to put tuck things away and uh now let me say this about this detail here because there is a little bit of a wood accent here um, now if you went too high with that you might feel like you need to really dress that up uh, I if when I first looked at this I wasn't sure if I liked it um, but I actually do like it now because as you can imagine what if you spilt something it, you don't want it going back down and behind or or if you're uh, you know you've got a you know, serving trays or plates, things like that. You don't want it to be um, messed with or or uh, falling off into the other side. So I think having a little bit of a break there actually did term, determine to be a good idea uh, for our, our superintendent's part. They also did some pendant lighting above our quartz island. So they've got three pendant lights that are a gold accent. So they turned out really pretty. It's always nice to have a little bit of touch of Touch of gold. So here we have one more section here which could be used of cabinets for the same things. Coffee, serving areas, a lot of countertops. Set up your crock pots for, for your events or whatever you're having. And a beautiful bouquet of flowers that my yes, wife. For our homeowner. So this is the master bedroom. As you can see, we've got carpet for the flooring here in this room. We've got can lights, we've got a ceiling fan. We got some of these beautiful Anderson style windows, and these are the ones that raise up. Also, we have the double door that goes here into the master bathroom. Check this out, guys. I mean, this is what it's all about right here. You've got your uh, same quartz countertops. We've got the painted framed mirrors with the black accent on the faucet uh, times two because you've got his and hers. Uh, this is really sweet, and we've got the bathtub here. A lot of you guys, before, you're like, you'd rather have a shower, you'd rather have a tub. Well, here you're going to have both because we've got a complete walk-in shower as well as this freestanding tub with the accented faucet. Uh, we've got a 12 by 24 tile that goes all the way up here on the back side, which really is a nice way to have a feature wall. Uh, same tile in here on the inside of here where the shower is. Now, one of the things I like about this shower is we're using a smooth pebble tile, which is a flat stone. And in here we have the similar 12 by 24 tile, which is a porcelain. And then we have the penny tile that goes here in the soapbox, which is a really nice way to, to feature this. All of this is curbless. So you could roll a chair in here if you had to. Also, you have kind of a staging area here, which is uh, a place to dry off, you have your towels. And then we've got a full bench here on the back side. Now, when we're doing a shower like this, we always like to try to add some additional lighting in here too. Uh, but here they've got a nice rain head faucet. It's gonna work really good. We have a private toilet area as well to the, to the end of this room, which is an exceptionally wide space. I really like it when we can do it like this, but we've got the upper cabinet storage with the dividing shelves on each side. And then we have our walk-in closet and a lot of options here. We actually added this piece of cabinets, which has all of the added drawers. So you won't need a piece of furniture to stick in here and everything kind of seams together. On this side, we've got a lot of storage space for the cubby shelving with the upper shelving as well. And we have the hanging rods 
um, upper and lower uh, here and there. And then we've got a little bit of dress storage here on the end uh, and a lot more cubby space, which goes up and around all the way. Now, one thing about this area is we do have attic access here too, because this is where you can get in and go up into the attic where our HVAC system, all that kind of stuff is. So our first guest bedroom off of this hallway is a 12 by 12. So it's a nice size. I love the big window here. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a deeper closet um, that you can actually kind of get to, but the, they just did an upper and a lower. Of course, we stay in our hanger rods, uh, but it's a great size closet and a great space for our first guest bedroom. All right, we're back here. This is our bathroom area, which will not only serve the guests, but it'll also serve some of these bathrooms, some of these bedrooms here off of this hall. Uh, this has got a two sink vanity and we have the uh, framed mirror uh, here, which is a very large mirror on this space, uh, as well as the upper bar lights, which go on and up above. Now here we have the accented back to the accented color that we used on the island in the kitchen. Uh, this is a little bit longer bathroom here, but we do have additional upper storage over the toilet. And this is kind of your combo setup. Uh, there's some key features here, which are pretty neat. I like this tile. Uh, this is uh, used a lot of times where you, you can seam it together, but here they chose to do like a black accent, uh, which really looks nice. And I like the tile that goes here in the, uh, soap box, which works really well. Now, this is a pretty cool little faucet here. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but it's got some versatility here that I hadn't seen before. So that's pretty neat that you can uh, make those kind of adjustments on this, this setup here. But the black accent always looks really nice with that white tile. And for our second guest bedroom, we have a mirrored version of the first. So this is another 12 by 12 bedroom. Of course, they've got carpet in here, which definitely helps with the sound. A nice picture window and then a large walk-in closet as well. Again, with the uppers and lowers, so basically a duplicate, but definitely a great place for a kid's room or even a guest. Okay, also off this hall, we have a kind of a game closet. I guess this could be used as, uh, but it's a, it's a walk-in closet, so you can kind of work to your variety of storage space could be used for whichever and however. Uh, it's it's not outside, but so you, you wouldn't put some of your your other type of storage, but Christmas tree maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's show them another special room. I think this is going to be a okay. lot of this uh, is fun time. Yeah, this is basically another family room. This is a 24 by 15 room, so it's a huge. Uh, I believe it's going to be a media room for them. Yeah, and you got all the windows here, which here looks off the front of the house and then here off the side. But one of the key features here is also this serving bar that we, we've got going in here. Uh, yeah, you can put a little popcorn maker or microwave, um, all kinds of things for, you know, if you're going to watch movies. Yeah, and this could have been converted to where they wanted to add drink stations, stuff like that. But maybe, I don't know, maybe they're not going to allow drinks in the on the, the carpet on the carpet <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of upper cabinet storage too so again maybe more game storage things like that this is a great room they've got the ceiling fan and the the cam very lighting. large double doors So how you do it here in texas right we've got so, one more closet right here right, we've got another little linen closet lots of shelving little this is a well, huge closet it's actually a pretty good size closet but yeah. definitely you could put your movies in here or whatever you wanted maybe for your media room we're running out of things to store you know that's kind of what <laughs> i feel lots like. of storage now we have a half bath here which uh serves the end of this this off this office area which is what we're about to show you guys here next um it's got a it's just got a, a little setup here where we've got the uh, quartz countertop, four foot vanity with uh, all of the same features we've been showing you guys here in the other room, but uh, just a, a nice little half bath. All right, this is going to be an office. It could be a bedroom as well. Uh, we've got a nice size closet in here. 
Um, but it's got lots of cubbies. It's got the high and the low hanging on, on both sides. And then a lot of bookshelf space in the middle. And then as well as another shelf around the top. So, um, but this would be great for, for an office. They've got the built-in bookshelves here on both sides of the window. So I imagine maybe like a desk in front and you can kind of spin around and you can see out both sides. Um, but I love all the stores that they've got on both sides. Yeah, you can set up a little uh, library there or whatever. And but you could even make this a bedroom. This could be a little bedroom with, you know, maybe a bed in between and have the bookshelves on the outside. So you could definitely use it for whatever you'd like to. Absolutely. And lastly, one more bedroom. <laughs> How many bedrooms we got here? We have five and a media room. So, so this is uh, another uh, bedroom here. And... Uh, this is a bigger closet. Like you can actually walk in. There's cubbies. Um, Small room, but a very large sides, closet. Right, and lots of hanging. Did it up well. big here in Texas. For this I have closet space. Texas size Barnuminium, the king's Barnuminium. <laughs> All right, let's go. I want to show you guys the dog trot. Okay, this is our dog trot area. Now we've had a lot of discussions as we we're doing this build and just trying to get some of the conversations going on. What would you use this space for? But our clients truly had an intention. Uh, it can be a dog trot. So this can be an area where they could let their dog out. Or it could be a kid trot because they could put their kids out here. That's they can't get out. That's what I was going to say. I think it's more so work. kind of an outside area with the kiddos. Yeah, another outdoor living space. I figure you could put even a big couch out here, maybe some larger kid toys that they can play on. Now we had to make a decision when we were doing some of the framing on this. Now this is open to another area. We'll show you guys uh, here in just a bit, but this is our shop that's uh, kind of adjoining this and it's in between. So our main structure came up and over the top of this space, uh, but uh, we had to kind of make some decisions when we were doing the framing. Uh, we either had to try to create a lower ceiling here we decided to keep it all up because it went with the flow of our natural framing process. And here they've got a lot of ceiling height in here to, to do which and whatever. But uh, a couple things about this space, we did add this uh, wrought iron fence here, which is a nice feature to have when you uh, are trying to keep, like I said, your pet in or, or your kiddos, like, like Brandy was just talking about. And here we, we added this neat little gate here. It's a four foot open gate that you could come in and out, which has got, it's, it's keyed as well. So you've got a lock and key. And then we also have the accessibility here that goes into the garage. So we'll take you guys here to the shop area, uh, which will be a little bit different than maybe what we normally show you because uh, this this here uh, will lead us back into our laundry area. So I want to show you guys the many different ways that you can kind of be versatile on this this project. Beautiful glass window that we've got here, an Anderson style window. This is a, a big picture style window. I really like that. Although I would imagine maybe some people might want to add some blinds, things like that at certain times. But I like the openness of it, being able to see in it yeah. of course i don't have my stuff in here so i might feel different about it right but that's a three car garage it's 916 square foot so it's a great space for sure for yeah. them to use as their garage and like what i was saying you can see we have a continuation of our framing same that we had over the dog trot this is a uh, metal stud framing although we did have some uh, stone across the front which we'll show you guys some of that here in a minute but we added zip system and we talked about some of the special framing details in some of our previous videos. So if you guys haven't seen some of those episodes, uh, that will be key because we talked about how we like to flash and insulate and all these kind of things around those spaces. Uh, about the only thing we have in here is our water heater and our main uh, power panel that we've got here. Uh, the house is running on 200 amps for this particular setup. We will be doing an additional man cave, man cave yeah. which is so already, we already poured the slab. This is something that's going to be an extension of our work here on this project. But it's time for our clients to, to move in. So right. that's what's coming next. So now we're going to show you where this kind of leads back into the house because we've got an opening here that goes into our laundry room. 
This is uh, the, the typical setup here for your laundry. You got actually have some upper storage, a lot of cabinets as well, and we've got some different colors yeah. uh, that we're using for this. They did a really pretty. It's called Sea Mist by Sherman Williams, so it's a it's kind of a sea foamy green color, but I really like it, and it looks really good with the white countertops that they did throughout. You know what I like about this color is it's not like green. It's not super no, green. No, it's very subtle. And I wouldn't mind seeing this in the kitchen somewhere. So Yeah, it's really pretty. This is a really nice color that they landed on. Now, we also have a window that looks out to the dog trot here. Uh, it also brings in some of the natural light to this space so you're not working in just a hole. And then we've got a mud room that basically is coming in from the garage. You can kind of drop your backpacks, things like that. Uh, but then it also leads out to our covered porch. So I love the little cubby areas. I've got little baskets in ours that mm -hmm. maybe school supplies or shoes that you want to kind of tuck away. You can do that there. Uh, they'll probably add some hooks later. Yeah, this has got everything but the hooks. That's what I was going to say. Now, another thing we have here is access to the back porch. Now, one thing that's different here on this build that we don't have is a lot of accessibility out to the back porch. So this so, is our covered back porch. It's beautiful gable design. It's really nice. It's a really nice back porch. It's got a lot of size uh, and, and the whole lookout is very private as well. Uh, like I was saying, look, we don't have a lot of just visibility from like your main living area to back here. So you could sort of like create a whole nother space. Yeah, you could put like a nice hot tub back here. It'd be a little more private. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that would be a nice idea. Or cooking area. Yeah. Uh, we will have the man cave, which is right going to be over here on this side. And then who knows where, where it'll go in the future. They may have a pool or something back here off the back. Yeah, that'd be So a, a lot of great options as well back here to have all that porch in the front and all this in the back. Okay, well, what else goes best with a Texas size barnuminium than a big Texas size front porch? And uh, that's the last but not least item we want to discuss here. And this is a very large porch. It's 123 by 6, so it's over 800 square foot of porch space. Yeah, and, you know, that's one of the things I think that really ties this whole thing together because you got the shop, the dog trot, the living quarters, the accent porch. But one of the things that's consistent is the porch all continued together. And we have the stone, which is a wainscoting that we're doing here, which is a natural stone. Looks really awesome. Uh, and here we're using a looter stone for a water table, uh, which is very smooth cut. And we use that a lot, actually, in these scenarios where you want to have a good transition between your metal trim and your stone connections. It's a nice finishing piece. Yeah, and we talked about all this as well through some of the previous videos where we shared some of the flashing details and how all of this uh, is meant to drain out. Now, you don't have much concern about water here because you have so much protection on the, sh on the uh, porches, but this is a great accent and a beautiful breeze that we're having out here too on this porch yeah you should line up the the rocking chairs that's and... right crackle barrel has nothing on this porch so uh this is this has really really been nice to be able to show you guys this build now to get down to some of the nitty-gritty business that some of you guys might have been hanging out for on this build it's the number one question it's the number one question always on our channel for so many years how much does it cost and some things have transpired over the years uh, and this year, primarily, where we've made available some transparency on real-time costs when it comes to a lot of our builds. Uh, you can go back as well to some of the previous builds on our website even and, and find the specific plans that we might be offering that are for sale. If you go to our Barndo Plans tab on our website, and then you can go to our plans page. You can make a choose a plan, which here is the King's Barnuminium. And there's a little link there that says request a quote, and you can get an individual quote getting you a base price uh, for getting started on a build. Uh, and it, you know, in that quote, it'll tell you everything that's included in that as well. Now, one thing we should clarify, because we're going to give you a cost, is uh, there are no upgrades that will be figured into this number. Uh, so that will be something that will kind of accrue as you make your selections and 
uh, maybe early on you, you make some of those specifications like maybe a fireplace or you want to add stone to your build. These kind of things are specialty items that get priced uh, for custom pricing. Now, but for getting a base entrance price to building this build with all of our standard finishes, uh, what that would be in today's cost, not necessarily when our clients contracted and what they paid, but what today's cost would be on this build is around $800,000 for this build. And let's recap what all of that is featuring on this particular build, how many square feet, et cetera. Sure, there's 30, over 3,300 square foot of living space, over 1,800 square foot of covered patio space, and 900 okay, square foot of shop. Yeah, so you got all of the things added that together, you got over 7,000, I think, square feet of There's five bedrooms, media roof. room, two and a half bath. There's lots yeah, and, of space. Yeah, and, and the thing that you're gaining from knowing this is it kind of gives you a starting point. You can understand to build a house this size, uh, what it would cost. Now, where we step it up in our build quality is the efficiencies. So we've got thicker walls. We've got uh, all of the spray foam and a really efficient build with the zip system and all that stuff that as you guys know it really makes a big difference for the longevity of the build but these are some key things some key reasons why um, you know it really depends build to build if you want to go to our plans website it's called bestbarndoplans.com you can search through there filter out find it uh, plan by square footage uh, also, you can go to our main website, like I said, if you're looking for a past build that we did, say the May Pearl, uh, Buena Vista, Heiko, Hilltop, you know, you can look through the past and you can find some of these links because some of the plans have been renamed on the plan website. Anyway, enough of that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, it's always our pleasure to bring you guys another finished tour Barnuminium, we've got a lot more to come, a lot more projects we're starting, a lot more that we are looking to finish here in the upcoming uh, days and weeks ahead. It's our pleasure to, uh, to be here, and we wouldn't be doing it without you. I'm Josh Helm. And I'm Brandy Helm. We're wishing you all the best. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Texas, Texas Best. best.